What sets Valorant apart from other tactical shooters are the abilities. Sure, there is precise gunplay and shooting definitely matters, but with so many tools at your disposal, players have a lot of ways to bamboozle their opponents. Oh, okay. Where's, he's go? running! He's got his weapon out, they'll never expect him to be here! Oh my god, Magnum! His brain is so big! That's why today we are honoring the most brilliant outplays Valorant has ever seen. But before we get to the genius, I want to remind you all to please sub to the channel and turn on notifications if you haven't done it yet. We are almost at 2 million subs and you could be the person who gets us there. All right, let's get into it. Here are the top 10 200 IQ plays in Valorant. Kicking off our list is a play so smart, he looks stupid. Delete the VOD, end the stream. <laughs> it's time to go home. What? Not like this. <laughs> Up against the Send at Masters Berlin, 100 Thieves orchestrated an especially chaotic execute smack dab in the middle of Haven's B site. It's an easy place to plant, but it can be difficult to hold. That is, of course, unless you're still sitting a short with an Odin. He goes still stands though, but the defuse is coming in. Wait, the spray! Oh my god, are we really seeing this right now? There's nothing they can do! Oh my god. The lockdown as well will confirm it. Oh. We'll get detained here. Look at his, he's not even got his hand on the keyboard. And maybe he should, no, he doesn't need There's it. There's no way, man. Stop it, Steel. Get him out of the game. This is <laughs> unthinkable. He's actually what? got the defuse. Got the defuse. Oh, oh, Josh. No way, what Josh. Have you done? What have you done? Steel knew they had to defuse because the Killjoy ult was about to pop and basically end the round. So he could shoot right into a wall and wall bang them to death. And even though Ascend managed to slip in and defuse between reloads, this is still one of the most brilliant post plants Valorant has ever seen. You can see the moment oh. where it's just like, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what a champion of the people, a true entertainer. Thanks for catching the other half of that. Slow walking its way into the ninth spot on our list is proof that sometimes the smartest play is to do nothing at all. You keep drinking whatever the hell that is, Mix. Well, I, I, that was unbelievable. Left in a 1v2 post plant against Fun Plus Phoenix in the grand finals of Blast Switch Invitational, G2's Mixwell was screwed. He had one smoke, 70 HP, and an empty magazine. But Mixwell knew that his opponents expected him to retreat to either CT or the back of the site. So he dropped his smoke on the spike and just waited. He reloaded his gun inside the cloudburst, then popped out to surprise his opponents with his massive brain. And it's now all on Mixwell. He spent all of his knives he's on 70 health. He's got the spike, and I love this position. Try and mix it up a bit. Oh, the paranoia comes out from Wolves, and they try to spray him down. He's playing out of his own smoke as well, but that will quickly fade. It doesn't stay around for long. He's off the side of it, and both players being split up could be a massive problem here for him. He starts off onto oh! Shadow, and Mixwell comes up clutch. Once again, they cannot believe it. Look at that. So he trades out upper, goes down, gets the plan. But this, he realizes there's an overextension by Shadow, and the spray, the swing around to Angel, and you can see it. That was an absolutely gorgeous clutch. Dashing into number eight is a send so full, it literally stupefied everyone involved. And it was one bullet. That's all it was going to take. Two Look clutches. It's the same reaction. From the Korean jet. Oh my <laughs> god. During stage one of VCT Challengers, Saya Player was in an almost unwinnable 1v3 against 100 Thieves. They knew where he was, and even though Saya Player got one kill, he was still cornered, outnumbered, and nowhere near the spike. It seemed like there was nowhere for him to go, right? Wrong. Trent's only able to get one, and now it's a 1v3 for Saya Player. It was only pistols that they had to deal with. Saya. Still dancing around this cage down to 25 HP. Tripwire in his way to dashing it. Oh! What is he doing? Saya player! Instead of rotating through Garden or CT, Saya waited out his opponents and pounced down their throats the second he knew they were retreating long. They had no idea what hit them. A Red Bull clutch out of literally nowhere! That is outrageous, Saya! Coming in hot at number seven is this high-flying outplay from Asana. What in the heavens is that? 
The only recap that that needs shift is me not saying another word in our replay ops team, just replaying that in slow motion. Up against Xset and VCT Stage 3 Challengers 1 NA, 100 Thieves Star Fragger Asuna faced down a full five man save round execute, which, as any rifle wielding anchor who's supposed to have the upper hand will tell you, can be pretty scary. So instead of taking fights on his opponent's terms, Asuna did the one thing they'd never expect. He took the fight to them with zero utility in the air on a rope. Yeah, there's not a whole lot that Xset can put to use in this round. Oh. Asuna, goodness. Ethan's also read there's more down low. Asuna wants to get aggressive, just on the ropes. What in the SEAL Team 6 is this? He's gonna find one, Stop. and then the right click, he's gonna confirm the ace. Oh my goodness, that's just stupid. Unbelievable. I've got no words for that. I've, I've got nothing. That's why I huh? didn't share any. Bobbing its way into the sixth spot on our list is a juke from Leaf so majestic that if you blink, you might just miss it. Play of the tournament by Leaf. Absolutely disgusting. Facing down four members in the finals of Stage 2 Challengers NA, Cloud9's Leaf was trapped on site with no choice but to peek his way out of this situation, one gunfight at a time. The push already coming out of B is going to alert energy that they oh. can start making a big move on A. Yeah, Daps in a great position. He finds one on the way out as well, just down to Leaf, but he can make this costly. This is where Reynas oh are born. This is where Reynas are bred. One more, oh. yep, now the duelists are starting to come through. He avoids no the flash. Leaf, no way. Leaf picked up two 1v1s on site, but NRG weren't about to let him have two more. So they double swung him from tree alongside a perfectly timed Phoenix flash. But Leaf saw the flash, bobbed backwards, blocked it with Jenny, and finalized one of the cleanest aces of all time. Choosing the correct targets, understanding the patience he had and the time to work in sight with EU, and then this, boom, boom. It doesn't get any better than that. Creeping along the halfway point on our list is a movement play, nothing short of masterful. I can't get over, like this is just stupid. I don't know what else to say about that. Up against Ascend in a stage one challengers match, G2's Nukia lurked onto A site looking for a pick. Trying to close off the rotate, Nukia started to satchel boost himself to heaven. But right as he left the ground, a flying, ulting raise came screaming out of U-Haul. With the rocket already headed to heaven, Nukia should have been done for. Nukia, is he the playmaker that gets G2 into this round again? Oh, oh, oh my wow, God. just aerial movements. This guy's a gymnast, Nukia. That's right. Seeing the rocket flying at him, Nukia dropped another satchel to redirect his jump and perfectly dodged the rocket midair. The best part is that Nukia used a momentum to knock out Ascend's three remaining members, adding an ace to the round for good measure. And Bone Cold has so much to do. One smoke available. Nukia now extends from the showers and confirms his ace. He finds all five. Coming in at number four is an oldie, but a goodie. Do you need more convincing that the man needs a pay bump? Slight boost, maybe some vacation time. Woo! Left in a post-plant 1v2 against TSM in the first strike open qualifier, Cloud9's Vice was sitting smack dab in the middle of Hookah with nothing but a Sova arrow and a dream. Knowing that he was about to be held at gunpoint by Wardell's op, Vice tossed out his recon bolt and crossed to cover. The issue is that he wouldn't be able to peek the defuse without getting deleted. So he got creative. Cloud9 just down to one. Vice in a 1v2. Oh, Vice, oh my gosh, how did he do that? Vice, you had to do it to him with the recon bolt. You just had to. This has been one heck of a map. Kicking off our top three is a play from Zom so brilliant, it looks like cheating. Zoms, that's a nasty bit of work from him, and I love the methodical approach in that. He checked every other possibility. Okay, is it a crossfire from backside? Maybe towards lobby main? Maybe he's hit? No. Staring down the barrel of a 1v2 post plant during Sentinel's group stage matchup against F4Q at Masters Berlin, Zoms knew he had one hell of a site clear ahead of him if he was going to stick the defuse. Zoms. Looking for the way in. Two towards the backside of site as well. Double stacked here. Tricky to swing around on. What's he got in mind for it? There's the plan. Pulls Zumba a little closer. 5k still just fine. Zombs needs to find this. It's such a tricky post-plant position to defuse. 
High angle, low angle. He's trying to clear all the other potentials, and now he's decided, right, this has to be it. This is where they're going to be. I'm still going to try and get that. Whoa! No way, Zoms. That spray couldn't have been better. Zoms already saw one player back sight, but the real genius was what came next. Figuring the planter didn't cross to garage, he gravity welled back sight, hoping to bait a swing from behind pillar. Since no one swung, Zoms instantly knew that the second was either sitting on the default plant spot or back sight with his teammate. After clearing default and garage, Zoms realized they had to be waiting for his swing together. So he tossed out a Nova Pulse and transferred like a god. Again, the Phantom of the Happy yeah. Kid. You can see they're pretty happy about that one. <laughs> Poking its way into our number two spot is Vanity's cheeky, big brained reminder that sometimes it's actually smart to bring a knife to a gunfight. My god, what a way to finish the half right there. That knife kill was everything. Facing off against 100 Thieves in the semifinals of NA's Champions Tour LCQ, Vanity flanked his opponents for a free kill before coming face to face with a towering Astra Alt. Cosmic Divide blocks vision and it's bulletproof, but you can walk through it. This means that in order to clear corners, you need to face check them, which is usually going to end in you getting shot. Vanity knew all this. He knew that someone was probably sitting on the other side of the wall at the entrance to A long. But again, he couldn't shoot them, and if he crossed to pre-fire, he exposed himself. So he did the only thing he could do. He stabbed the wall to figure out where his enemies were hiding. Wall's about to drop as they're hearing this one for a while now, and it is on the other side, Astra. Vanity, oh, it's, oh my god, god what? Vanity! They can, they're gonna win this round. He's gonna be able to play the time. Hiko's gonna have to work a miracle here to be able to get this one, and Cloud9 tie it up with a knife to bring it six to six. And finally, the most genius play Valorant has seen so far belongs to the 17-year-old savior of NA. The Garden X set were an OT at the NSG Winter Championships, and Trent was the only man left standing for the guard. He was trapped alone on Cat, exposed from every angle, and was facing down four members of X set. This is what scientists call unwinnable. In the IGL to support, Cryo drops down, so does Aaron, but Aaron actually the one to fall. After killing the Killjoy Market, Trent was caught in a crossfire. He spammed the wall towards CT, baited out the op shot, and tried to swing on the Sova before getting swung on himself. And somehow, he came out alive. Death does him part, and now the shock darts. BCJ trying to play Legolas, and Trent stays alive. Now look at the HP. Now it was a 1v2. Trent sent his Owl drone to tag the Jet CT, and since he knew the Phoenix rotated to switch and that any direct peek would be suicide, he fanned out further onto Cat and executed a pixel perfect wall bang. What's even crazier is that because his recon dart was up, he secured himself a second look. Or better yet, a no look. It's a 1v2 and it's doable. He spots out one wall bang. Where is it? It's a possibility trying to line it up. Trent, he finds it, and now it's a one versus one. Unaware of the position of the other last known, in close to single bullet, reveal a wall bang! It is Trent! No way. This is how it started. A free 2k for Zekin. And Trent was damn near one HP. I mean, the, the play around the utility, it's just perfection. All right, folks, that's our list. If we missed a brilliant Valorant play that deserved to be on here, make sure to let us know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Taking a heads up fight with a judge oh, ain't no. the best of ideas, and one by one's even worse. Luckily, oh. he ended up with his knife out trying to get some information, and well, it comes at a pretty costly price. Yampi's got to clutch it yet again, but if anyone's going to clutch these. <laughs> <laughs> what?